Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Konnichiwa everyone and welcome to the class. Are you all ready to do Japanese today also? Well, um, we did a lot of things in our previous class. We did past tense of verbs, we did particle day, then we also did the time span, the time period which is kan. Then we also did hobbies, your subject, what you want to do all those things, but you have not told about your birthday. So, well today we will talk about your birthday, how to tell people when your birthday is. Now, I have a small uh, radio conversation for you, well listen to the conversation and then let us see how much you have understood. Ashita wa imoto san no tanjoubi desu ne? So desu. Tanaka san no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? Watashi no tanjoubi wa nigatsu no juichi nichi desu. Ah, watashi no tanjoubi mo nigatsu desu. Nan nichi desu ka? Hatsuka desu. So, well, you heard the conversation just now. So, this conversation is between two people again over here, and they are just talking. It is a simple, normal, uh, daily conversation A and B. So, Ashita wa imoto san no tanjoubi desu ne? So desu. Tanaka san no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? Watashi no tanjoubi wa nigatsu no ju ichi nichi desu. Ah, watashi no tanjoubi mo nigatsu desu. Nan nichi desu ka? Hatsuka desu. So, all these words you have already covered, we have already done. The new word over here is tanjoubi, which is birthday. So, how do you tell about your birthday? Well, this is the explanation in English and of course, this is again in the script and you can see lot of new kanji characters and hiragana. Well, before that, I want you to do something which is important for this and that is you need to know your months. So, we have January, February till December, it is very simple in Japanese, it is numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Shichi, Hachi, Q, Ju, and Ju Ichi, and Ju Ichi. Okay, so after this, you just need to put Gatsu. Counter for month is Gatsu. So you can go like this Ichi Gatsu. January, Nigatsu, February, Sangatsu, March, Shigatsu, and it is not Yongatsu or Yogatsu, it is Shigatsu, which is April, Gogatsu, which is May, Rokugatsu, which is June, and again an exception over here, Shichigatsu, which is July, and not Nanagatsu not nanagatsu over here, shichigatsu July, hachigatsu August, kugatsu September, jugatsu October, ju ichigatsu November and ju nigatsu which is not written over here, well I will write it over here, it is not in serial, but well I am sure you will understand, ju ni gatsu is December. So, it is very simple in Japanese. You just need to put the numbers over here and gatsu and that will give you the 
month equivalent would be January, February till December. So, please just repeat it after me once and you will get it right before we do this exercise. Ichigatsu, Nigatsu, Sangatsu, Shigatsu, Gogatsu, Rokugatsu, Shichigatsu, Hachigatsu, Kugatsu, Jugatsu, Juichigatsu, and in the end we have Ju Nigatsu. So, these are the 12 months which are very simple marked by Gatsu. Nigatsu Ichigatsu means January, February, and Getsu means month. So, please remember that is different. Both are the character is this Getsu or Gatsu, two readings for the same character. This means January, February, and Gatsu itself means Getsu itself means month. So, now we go back to our exercise over here. Anata no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? You know the word anata. Tanjoubi is new, I just told you. Birthday wa itsu means when desu ka? Jugatsu, we did just now. Jugatsu is October. Jugatsu no jugo nichi desu. The nichi part you have done in your previous lessons. So, well, jugo nichi is the 15th. Jugo nichi, jugatsu desu. 15th of October is what it means over here. Hi. So, we have anata no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka. Anata no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka. So, you can have over here otousan. Otousan no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? Okaasan no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? Sensei no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? Tomo dachi no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? And as in the exercise over here, imoto, imoto no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? So, for anata, you can replace it with any of these words that you have learned. And also over here it is given Ichigatsu Suitachi, Sangatsu Mikka, Gogatsu Nijugo Nichi, Hachigatsu Futsuka. So, you have done all these, all these you have done. Anata no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? Itsu means when. So, you have to write the month. Month and then you have to write the date. So, month you can write with you have done ichigatsu, ichi ni go hachi. Gatsu and then date you have done already. So, it could be Sui Tachi or Ju Go Nichi or any date you want to put over here and this. So, now you can practice very easily. Oto san no tanjoubi wa ichigatsu. Suitachi desu. Okaasan no tanjoubi wa hachigatsu jugo nichi desu. So, you can practice like this with your partner. Also, you can ask anata no tanjoubi wa ichigatsu suitachi desu ka? You can make a question of this as well. Instead of itsu, you can put the date 
and then put cow over there. So well, you can practice with your partner, you can practice dates like this, you can practice months like this, you can practice all the vocabulary that we have done earlier and do your conversation. Well now, in our previous lesson, in our last lesson, we did coco, soko, asoko and doku for place. If you remember, koko means here, soko means there, asoko means over there and doko means it is a question word, interrogative word meaning where. So well, today we will do exactly this but in a different manner. We did hon wa soko des. So it just says hon wa soko des. Hon wa doko desu ka? Hon wa soko des. Hon wa doko desu ka? Hon wa asoko des. Now over here you will see something is written. Yubin kyoku wa asoko ni arimasu. So there is this particle ni, there is wa, there is arimasu. Arimasu is a verb as you can see from mas form over here. It is a complete verb and what does it show? It shows existence of an object, of an inanimate object, inanimate thing at a certain place. Now how is that done? Well, noun 1 wa place ni ari mas. This shows that some noun is at a certain place. Now this is a pattern noun 1 wa place ni arimas. This particle ni you have done in your previous lesson with time. If you remember, hachiji ni ikimas, kuji ni nemas. So over here this has a different use, different usage over here noun 1 wa place ni arimas shows existence of something at a certain place, presence of something at a certain place. So let us see how it is done. You have this small radio conversation, please listen to it carefully and then I will explain it to you. あの花屋の隣にありますかいいえ、それは銀行です。郵便局は銀行の隣です。ありがとうございます。ラオさんです。すみません。郵便局はどこですかあそこにあります。あの花屋さんの隣にありますか いいえ、それは銀行です。郵便局は銀行の隣です。ありがとうございます。So well, sumimasen, you already know, all of you, what it means. Yubinkyoku is post office. Wa doko desu ka? Doko is a question word, interrogative word, which you already know. Asoko ni arimasu. Asoko is over there. It is present over there. It is present at that point. Ano hanaya no tonari ni arimasu ka? Is it over there next to the flower shop? No, iie. That is a bank. Sore wa ginko desu. Yubin kyoku wa post office wa ginko no tonari desu. It is next to the ginko and arigato gozaimasu. As it is a very informal conversation, informal situation, maybe on the road, maybe just informally you tap someone and you just ask, excuse me, 
So, well you could you could leave it at arigato, you could also say arigato gozaimasu the whole thing thank you very much or just arigato which is thanks. So, now I will explain all of it in detail you just have a general idea here as to what the conversation was about. This is in in the script with kanji and hiragana today and there is no katakana of course, there is katakana here for, for names, but in the conversation we do not have a foreign word. So, there is no katakana. So, kanji and hiragana you will see are written together and of course, we give space in between words because it is easy for us to understand and the English explanation is here. Now, you bin kyoku wa doko desu ka and in the conversation we had asoko ni arimasu. So, now what you can do is very simply you can replace yubin kyoku with other words that you have done. You bin kyoku wa doko desu ka? You bin kyoku wa doko desu ka? So, simple this is a question you can replace you bin kyoku with ginko, ginko wa doko desu ka, gakko, gakko wa doko desu ka, honia, honia wa doko desu ka, gakko you know is a school, ginko is a bank and honia is a book shop. So, well you can ask where are these things, where are they, where is the ginko, where is the gakko, where is the honya and what will your answer be? In simple words it will be either it will be either asoko or soko, those are the only two things you can say because that is all that we have done. So, well we will do something new today over here. Ginko wa with reference to noun 2, with reference to noun 2 where is it placed? Ni ari mas. Ginko wa noun 2 no mai, no mai ni arimas. ni arimas you have just done, ni arimas means it is present at that point. So, where is ginko present? If you, if you just point at ginko in a very, very, in a very busy place or in a, in an area which has a lot of buildings, how will you explain where exactly ginko is? So, well ginko wa hanaya, hanaya is the flower shop florist hanaya no mai ni arimas. Ginko is in front of the hana shop, in front of the flower shop. Ginko wa doko desu ka? Ginko wa hanaya again. Hana ya hon ya shokudo gakko Koen, any of these. Hanaya is your flower shop, Honya is stationery shop or bookstore, Shokudo is your dining hall canteen, Gakko school, Koen is park. So, Ginko wa Koen no mai ni arimasu, Ginko wa Gakko no mai ni arimasu, Ginko wa Honya no mai ni arimasu. So, well instead of just my which means in front you can have other locational words like this they are called locational nouns in Japanese and you could have those no mai mi no mai then no naka no shita no ue no ushiro and ni arimasu. So, ginko wa noun 2 
の前にあります。銀行は、ナウントの下にあります。下 means below or under。中 means inside。上 means on top。後ろ means behind。and 前 means front。well there are others as well。We have them for you listed here in this lesson. You can go through those and you can ask and answer these questions. Now, over here, just see, look at this over here. I will ask you and you let me know what it is. Jisho, which is a dictionary, wa doko desu ka? Now, if I ask you the position of Jisho, where it is placed, where would you say it is? Well, it is on top of the table. So, so the jisho is on top of the table. Jisho wa tsukue no ue ni arimasu. Jisho wa tsukue no ue ni arimasu. Jisho wa tsukue no shita ni arimasu. Is that okay? Jisho wa tsukue no jisho wa this jisho over here wa tsukue no Ushiro ni arimasu. This jisho over here, jisho wa tsukue no mai ni arimasu. So that is how you would show position of a certain object or thing. For example, a very simple one, I have a chalk here in my hand. So well, chalk wa, chalk wa te no ue ni arimasu. Like this, chalk wa te no Shita ni arimasu, which means below or under. Chok wa te no mai ni arimasu. This is from my side, mai ni arimasu. Chok wa te no ushiro ni arimasu. In a similar manner, kokuban. This is a blackboard. So, blackboard wa kokuban wa watashi no ushiro ni arimasu. It is behind me. So, this is how you could practice. Well, now let me see if you got it right. So, this is a pen. Pen. Now tell me, pen wa, pen wa, doko desu ka? Pen wa, doko desu ka? Let me, let me see if you've got it right. Pen wa, doko desu ka? Pen wa, tsukue no ue ni arimasu. Well, what about these things over here? Look at this and tell me where it is. Hako wa doko desu ka? That's right. Hako wa tsukue no ue ni arimasu. So, well, you can practice like this, show things where they are, and then you can ask your partner where these things are located and placed. It's right here for you. Yubin kyoku wa doko desu ka? And you can replace yubin kyoku with whatever is given over here and practice. Well, now I have already explained this to you. Arimas is a verb which shows existence of small things, things of irregular shape and size at a certain point or place. And as is given over here, teribi wa asoko ni arimas. Teribi is over there. Ringo no ki wa soko ni arimasu. The apple tree is over there or there. Now, we just did some locational nouns and the practice over here is kuruma wa doko desu ka? Kuruma wa genkan no mai ni arimasu. So, the pattern is noun 1 wa noun 2 no ue shita naka mae ushiro ni arimasu. And if you want to ask a question, well, ka can be used over here or doko. So, whichever you can practice this over here, that is exactly how it is given. Kuruma wa doko desu ka? Kuruma wa genkan no 
前にあります。玄関 is a gate。玄関の前にあります。自転車はどこですか？自転車は玄関の前にあります。おもちゃはどこですか？おもちゃは玄関の前にあります。椅子は玄関の前にあります。本は玄関の前にあります。So like this you can practice of course over here with some of these おもちゃ、いす、and 本、玄関 doesn't work。So you have all the others。車のそば。部屋の中。エレベーターの前。エレベーター is elevator。本棚の上。本棚 is a bookshelf。ホニアの隣、ホニアイズブックストア、階段のそば、階段のステーズ、and そば is nearby。So there are some new words over here, some new words, some old words which you have done, you can practice as I have told you just now. Now we have a small practice exercise for you here, you have to practice with your partner. Look at the picture and practice saying where the things are. Well, the first picture is you can see two people and this gentleman over here is pointing at something. Bioin wa asoko ni arimas. Last time we had done bioin wa asoko des. Now over here, exact location of the bioin is the bioin is over there. So well, the next picture is. You have this gentleman here, and he is thinking of scissors, which is hasami, and he wants to ask, where is the hasami? Well, hasami wa doko desu ka? Hasami wa kami no shita ni arimas. Kami is paper. Kami no shita ni arimas under the kami. So, you have another picture. You have some pens on a table. Well, pen wa doko desu ka? Or pen wa doko ni arimasu ka? And the answer is pen wa tsukue no ue ni arimasu. So, well, you can practice like this. Now, you have two people here in the picture a gentleman and a lady. Well, they are They are talking about something, and he is pointing at this object over here. Something over here. Well, what is it? What is the question? The lady asks, "Kaban wa doko desu ka?" Now, doko you have done. You remember interrogative word doko, which means where. Doko desu ka? And he says, "Kaban wa asoko desu." The kaban is over there, or kaban wa asoko ni. Or kaban wa tsukue no ue ni arimasu. So, any of these answers you can give to be more specific, you can say kaban wa tsukue no ue ni arimasu. This is just practice again and again for arimasu, which is very, very important because it is a proper verb, and this, as I told you earlier, is not a complete verb, and we cannot continue. Using this instead of arimas. Arimas tells you exactly where a place, where a thing is placed or located. Well, there is this picture over here. This is practice again for arimas. You have pencil, you have kaban, horn, isu, tsukue here in the room, and someone can ask. You can ask your partner, and the partner can answer, or your partner can ask you, and you can answer. Pen wa doko desu ka? Pen wa doko ni arimasu ka can also be used. Pen wa tsukue no ue ni arimasu. Then we are pointing at the chair which is isu. Isu wa tsukue no ushiro ni arimasu. I am repeating this again and again for you so that you just get used to arimas. You get used to listening to arimas. You get used to Using arimas instead of des. Of course, it's not that des is not going to be used after this. It is going to be used as you can see 
over here penva doko desu ka, but ni arimas is definitely going to be used more. So, please get used to this. Hon wa doko desu ka, hon wa kaban no naka ni arimas. Kaban wa doko desu ka, kaban wa isu no ue ni arimas. And then we have our table, skue wa doko desu ka, tsukue, skue. Skue wa doko desu ka? Well, skue wa mado. Mado is a window. Mado no soba ni arimasu. This word, soba. Soba is new. Soba. Soba. Soba means nearby. For example, you have these two things over here and you can ask, kagi wa doko desu ka? Kagi wa Pen no soba ni arimasu. It is close by. With reference to the table, this table is small. So, anything soba will be over here. Close by. Kagi wa pen no soba ni arimasu. Hako wa doko desu ka? Hako wa koko desu. Hako wa koko desu. Hako wa tsukue no ue ni arimasu. It is a little far away from here. So, with reference to the table, it is a little far. You cannot say soba. Soba is over here. Close by. Now we have, well, there is a small radio conversation. Listen to this one and see how much you can understand. Keiki wa doko ni arimasu ka? Keiki wa table no ue ni arimasu. Ichigo wa keiki no ue ni arimasu ka? Hai. Ichigo wa Keiki no ue ni arimasu. You heard the conversation just now. Practice this. Keiki wa doko ni arimasu ka? So, can you give me the answer? Keiki wa doko ni arimasu ka? Hai. Keiki wa teiburu no ue ni arimasu. Teiburu is also used, which is table in English and tsukue in Japanese. So, you can either use tsukue or you can use teiburu. Keiki wa teiburu no ue ni arimasu. Now, let us see what they want to know next. Well, rousoku. Rousoku is candles. Rousoku wa doko desu ka? Rousoku wa keiki no ue ni arimasu. Or, rousoku wa Keiki no ue ni arimasu ka? Hai. Rousoku wa keiki no ue ni arimasu. Then we have, we have these two glasses over here and let us see. Koppu wa doko desu ka? Well, can you tell me where the cups are? Will you try? Koppu wa tsukue no ue ni arimasu. Now, listen to this small radio conversation. Ano basketto no naka ni ringo wa ikutsu arimasu ka? Mutsu arimasu. Sono basketto mo mutsu ringo arimasu ka? Iie, kono basketto ni itsutsu arimasu. Well, this tells you about numbers. How many things are present in a certain thing or some place? So, well, ikutsu we did last time also. Ikutsu means how many. So, you count irregular things, irregular shaped things in ikutsu. So, this series of counters is used to count small objects from 1 to 10. The other counter that you did for small objects was ko, if you remember, ikko, ikko, niko, sanko. So, this is also used, this is very, very informal. This, this counting method is also used for irregular um, objects, but from 1 till 10, from 1 till 10. If you ask ikutsu desu ka, ikutsu question word ikutsu desu ka, then from 1 till 10 it is hitotsu. 
二つ。三つ。四つ。五つ。六つ。七つ。八つ。ここ。ここ。のつ。and。と。To or juko, and after that you have ju iko, as you did in the ko series, ju iko, ju niko, ju sanko. Hitotsu, futatsu, mitsu, yotsu is only from one till ten, and after that you have to take ko. But with ko, you can start with iko also. One onwards, you can start with. Hitotsu futatsu. It is only till ten. So now, as you heard in the conversation, you can try doing this. Hitotsu futatsu, mitsu, yotsu, itsutsu, mutsu, nanatsu. Yatsu, kokonotsu, to. Till ten, you can count. Ju iko and ikutsu. Ikutsu is the interrogative word. How many? Quickly, we will practice this over here. Practice counting objects. How will you count? So the objects are given. You have. A small rubber, an egg or a potato, small glasses or cups, things like apples, oranges, lemons, fruits generally. Then small bottles can be counted, but long bottles cannot be counted. Eatables like uh, donuts or cakes or or small round pastries can be counted like this. So ringo wa ikutsu arimasu ka? You can look at this. And ask, ringo wa ikutsu arimasu ka? Mitsu arimasu. One, two, and three. Mitsu arimasu. So you have this over here. Hitotsu, futatsu, yotsu, itsutsu, and ikutsu. So you can ask, mikan wa ikutsu arimasu ka? Of course, this is not mikan. This is ringo. So well, you could replace it with mikan and say futatsu arimas, and you can practice like this with your partner. Ikutsu arimas ka, hitotsu arimas, or ikko arimas. Ringo ikutsu arimas ka, yotsu arimas, or yonko arimas. So you can use both for counting small irregular shaped objects. Now we have been doing kanji all along. These kanji characters, these Chinese pictograms, we have been doing today. Some very simple ones because we have done these、uh, locational nouns. So a couple of those for you. We have ue. Ue means on top or above. Now how has it come into being? It's very simple. The Chinese would show ue as some something, a dot like this on something, on the ground. So later on, it changed to ue like this. It's a three-stroke character, horizontal first, vertical later, and then like this. So this means ue. Means on top or above. Any time you look at this character, well, it means something is on top. Ue over here. Ue means upper, above, or on top. A three-stroke character. Then you have another one. This is another word that you have done today, which is shita. Shita, meaning. Under or below, 
Now, how is that come into being? Well, underground like this a dot over here which was later made into this character which you can see on your screens. A straight line, a vertical line and then like this. So, it is like this, Ua is like this. Try to remember this and one thing very important over here is that you have to remember the stroke order. The stroke order of a character is extremely important, otherwise it is difficult to go to the next character. When we start doing some complicated characters, we start writing in uh, Japanese, then you have to see that the stroke order is done properly, it is written properly. Well, this is also a three stroke character as you saw just now. Oh, well, the third one is Naka, which you have already done. This is a four stroke character to be made like this, one, two, three and four, which means inside or passing through and this, this is, this is from, this is actually a board and something is passing through the board is how the character has come into being. So, well, a quick revision, we have Ue, Shita and Naka, three characters that we did just now. Now, we have with uh, these characters, Noboru, Noboru and the meanings are given here in black, Noboru, Gesui, Oriru, Oriru is to come down from a staircase or get off a bus or a train. Chugoku is of course, China. Ichinichi ju all day long. Nihonju is all over Japan. And Kawakami, Kawakami is a name. Well, this is vocabulary, these words we have done, these are all locational nouns which we just covered in this lesson. Ushiro, Naka, Mae, Shita, Ue, Tonari, Soba. Yoko, Soto and all the others also, there are lots of them. So, all others also, we will do them on and off in our next classes. I think I will finish today. You have a lot of work to do at home, lot of things to remember and memorize. So, well, we will finish here and meet again tomorrow. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. ありがとうございます。